So, in the previous parts of the lectures, um, we'll just summarize whatever we have learned so far. So, uh, first we began with the loss function g of w, which was simply defined as the error over the data, the squared error over the data, plus lambda times the L1 norm of the parameters w. And now uh, we we uh, we used the major uh, the majorization minimization algorithm to iteratively minimize the first term, and there we did it by selecting a function g k of w, which was simply uh, beta times norm of um, w k. Plus, where w k is a is a, is a estimate of the parameters w at k iteration of the major, majorization uh, minimization algorithm, plus uh, one over beta times phi transpose times y minus phi times w k minus w. plus some constant vk which doesn't depend on w. Then in the previous power lecture we considered another loss function c of w which uh, was simply some vector uh, nu minus or v minus w squared plus lambda times L1 norm of W and we saw the solution the closed form solution for this loss function is simply W is equal to the soft of V comma lambda by 2 and now we will minimize so this is 1 this is 2 we'll use both of these definition later on um, in this uh, lecture and now we will minimize directly the function j of w iteratively again through majorization minimization algorithm so now to minimize j of w so to avoid the confusion with the function g so we will just call it g prime or g of g superscript e to denote that this function was selected to minimize this term through majorization minimization algorithm and now to minimize this loss function g of w through majorization maximization algorithm we'll have to construct a loss function g k of w that upper bounds the loss function j of w with another condition is that g k of w k is equal to j of w k and now uh, we can combine this uh, to so this term can be easily minimized by this loss function so we will select g of k to minimize g of w simply as the beta times norm of w k plus 1 over beta times phi transpose times y minus phi times w k minus w square plus lambda times l1 norm of w plus some constant v k which doesn't depend 
on uh, the uh, parent test w. So this is the same term. So if you combine this and this, we'll get the same function g of uh, g k of w uh, sub superscript t. And we had already seen that for w equal to w k, this term would become uh, g g k would become zero. So it satisfies this property. Uh, we had seen in the previous lecture that if we input w k over here, this entire function will become zero. So it satisfies the second condition. And also, since we already have a term corresponding to uh, to this term in the loss function, and then this term, this, and this term is greater than or equal to norm of y minus phi times w. So we have that g of k would upper bound g of w as well. So it satisfies this choice of loss function satisfies this condition as well. So now we can put everything together. And now since this uh, this term doesn't depend on w, so we can just ignore this term uh, from, our, from our function. And then we get uh, the resulting function for the magician minimization algorithm as simply g k of w is equal to the uh, beta times w k plus 1 over beta times phi transpose y minus phi times w k minus w plus lambda times norm of w l1 norm of w so we can now uh, uh, since uh, uh, the, this term is constant so we just ignored it over here so putting it together to minimize the loss function j of w we will effectively minimize this function and since uh, minimizing this uh, this entire function is just same as minimizing this term because the last the, this vk doesn't depend on w it has no dependence on w and that's why minimizing this entire function is same as just minimizing everything that is inside this square box or inside this curly brace and for this function we have already seen the solution over here so uh, we can uh, rewrite um, this function as we can redefine the uh, we can just scale the function so minimizing function g of k of w is same as minimizing this is same as minimizing uh, the function some um, gamma times g k of w for any value gamma greater than zero Right. So, uh, scaling the function doesn't change the minimizer because uh, we minimizing this function same as minimizing the scaled function and we can choose gamma to be 1 over beta. So, minimizing this function is same as minimizing 1 over beta times gk of w which is same as uh, norm of wk plus 1 over beta times phi transpose y minus phi times wk minus w plus lambda over beta times l1 norm of w and since um, it's, it's just like over complicated to write it as lambda over beta, but it, it, it really doesn't matter because uh, Lambda is just some constant. It is any uh, lambda is any value uh, greater than zero typically between zero and one and beta is greater than zero Right, so we can just write it as some Value some bigger lambda or just we can just write it as new lambda lambda prime 
which is defined as lambda over beta. Since lambda is just some, um, uh, it's just some value that we select um, uh, based on uh, our experience, for example, based on our choice of like how much importance do you want to give to the second term. So we just select a new value of lambda, which is defined as lambda over beta. And now combining, minimizing this function, we've already seen the solution of this function over here. So this soft of v comma lambda by two, where v is this vector. So now we can write the iterative uh, update to the parameters w as w. So let's assume we have some parameter w k. So w k plus one is given by soft of soft threshold of w k plus one over beta times phi transpose y minus phi times w k comma lambda over twice of beta. So this update step is known as uh, iterative soft thresholding algorithm. So soft thresholding here and we do iterative updates to the parameters w to obtain. So this update step combined together is known as iterative soft thresholding algorithm. So to summarize, uh, like how can we use iterative soft thresholding algorithm to minimize the loss function j of w, which is equal to norm of y minus phi times w squared plus lambda times L1 norm of w. So we'll write the pseudo code of the iterative soft thresholding algorithm. So uh, the step number one is set k equal to zero and initialize w not as a randomly selected n dimensional vector, it can be vector of all zero. So initialize w not. Step number two, select gk. Uh, there is no because this is implicit knowledge. So then iteratively apply the updates as uh, repeat until convergence. So repeat until convergence w k plus 1 takes a value soft of soft threshold of w k plus 1 over beta times phi transpose times y minus phi times wk comma lambda over twice of beta and then set k equal to k plus 1 and we can again have convergence so we can repeat until convergence 
where there is a convergence condition where we can check if norm of wk minus norm of wk plus 1 if it is less than some threshold let's say 10 to the power negative 3 then we can stop this algorithm so this algorithm the pseudocode is known as the iterative soft thresholding algorithm and uh, that's it for our discussion and the complete derivation of the iterative soft thresholding algorithm so to solve uh, to to compute the minimizer of this l1 norm regularized least square problem we can iteratively uh, we can we can uh, complete the solution iteratively using this iterative soft thresholding algorithm so now you have subgrain descent algorithm you have a style algorithm for minimizing the uh, l1 norm regularized uh, least square loss function so that completes our discussion or our entire lecture on regularization so so far we have taught you l2 norm regularized least square uh, we have shown you normal equation based solution we have shown, shown you the grain descent as well as in this part lecture we have also shown you how you can use um, the solution iteratively in the, the previous part lecture you can uh, iteratively uh, get the um, solution for the L2 norm regular least square problem or the linear regression problem as well. And uh, in the previous few parts of the lecture, we have discussed the minimization of the L1 norm regular least square using subgradient and the style algorithm. So that completes our lecture on regulation. Thank you.